So I'm on my way to FedEx to drop off a snake. Um, if you haven't done that yet, it's pretty simple. You're just going to buy your supplies, uh, snake bags, insulated box, all that stuff, um, heat packs. Um, you can get all that stuff on uh, uh, reptiles to you uh, website or you can get them on uh, Ship Your Reptiles. You can get them from the Snake Keeper. You can get them from uh, uh, Reptiles Express. Um, and then you can print your shipping labels through Ship Your Le Reptiles or one of those other websites as well. Um, I'm just gonna bag it up, box it up, um, and then print a shipping label and strap it on and literally Stop in at FedEx and drop her off. So it's really as simple as that. Um, nothing to it, nothing to worry about. Honestly, FedEx will drop the ball and your package will be late sometimes, okay? Um, I've had it happen a bunch of times, coming to me and going out, and guess what? usually always gets there and it's usually nothing to worry about um, you'll see people online sometimes on uh, on on, uh, on Facebook uh, ranting about FedEx this that and the other thing but honestly you know they're they're shipping a lot of packages and they're understaffed especially because of COVID and all that stuff so um, there's really nothing to worry about the snakes usually always get there um, you see an animal die every once in a blue moon, um, and when it does, a lot of half that half of those times, it's due to uh, you know error on the shipper. Sometimes, the only time I've ever seen a dead animal is because uh, the heat pack was taped to the lid of the uh, the box of the the styrofoam. And the heat pack fell out of the out of the tape and was sitting right on top of the snake okay and uh, it was coming from California and I'm in Michigan and it was kind of the weather was back and forth here like it always is and that day just happened to be actually 70 degrees um, and really the the heat pack wasn't even needed and it, you know, because it was sitting on top of the snake, the snake died. Um, so ever since then, I actually uh, started putting my heat packs on the side. So I'll do it on the inside side of the box. Um, and I don't usually bother even taping it or anything like that. Um, a lot of snakes that I get still will end up, you know, the, the heat pack will be taped to the top. The last snake I actually got from Justin Kabilka at Canova um, was zip tied to the top, so that's awesome. Um, that's a great, actually, a great way to do it um, because I, I have actually gotten one where the heat pack fell out of the tape, um, but it was a bigger box and it wasn't sitting on on the snake, and thankfully the snake did not die in that situation. So, you know, with having seen that happen twice you know don't make that mistake um but yeah shipping shipping reptiles is actually really simple so if you haven't done it yet do it it's easy don't worry about it just do it you know a lot of people are still apprehensive about buying snakes on Morph Market and having them shipped and would rather go buy them local, but there's nothing to worry about. If you haven't bought a snake on online because you're worried about them shipping or you're worried about getting ripped off, if you're buying on Morph Market, you're buying from somebody who's paid for a Morph Market account. And if you're looking at their, uh, if you're looking at their credentials on Morph Market, their uh, reviews and all that stuff, then you can probably rest assured that you're going to be okay. As long as they have good reviews, you're going to be fine. Um, I, I, uh, to be honest, my my reviews are all really good. I have worked hard to build my uh, my morph market up. Um, you know, not 
uh, I'll say that I, I honestly have more reviews than some of the big name guys in the industry and and that's that's great because that's going to help me make a sale you know next time but it doesn't take much to build that up you just the animals sell themselves you put the animals on price them right don't under don't, don't undercut the market don't sell them for nothing sell them for what they're worth they'll sell themselves it's as simple as that so easy process but that's it peace